Hello, everybody. So we are doing part three of Do You Have Trust Issues today. So um, today I'm taking it in the direction of spiritual health. Now, remember I told you guys I use the acronym PSMEPS, Purposeful Living, Spiritual Health, Mental Health, Emotional Health, Physical Health, and Social Health. So without looking at all of those, you're not going to be the best version of yourself. Not anybody else but the best version of yourself. Now, listen, um, part of having trust issues can sometimes come from not trusting the creator. Okay. So let's talk about that today. Now, a lot of us have had daddy issues, you know, and trusting our biological father. And so then in turn, we have issues with trusting our, um, heavenly father. Now, the other part to this too is sometimes we go through a lot of things in life. So remember we talked about in the first video and the second video, those four people, we encounter so many of the number threes and the number twos that we question who God really is and if he really loves us and is concerned about us. And that's, that's just facts. That's real. You know, we, we feel that in our bodies of like the anger, the frustration, the trauma, you know, things that we've gone through in life. And it's like, all right, God, are you really... A loving father looking out for me because you know I have all these things going on so um, one scripture that um, that I thought about was Proverbs 3 and 6 and that's trust in the Lord with all that heart and lean not to thy own understanding he will direct your paths so when we trust him because we're talking about trust right we have to be able to trust the creator. But the problem is that we don't necessarily trust the creator because we don't know him. So we have to get to know him. All right. It's like dating. You got to get to know somebody before you can trust them. So yes, that's scripture. And we know that we're supposed to trust the Lord and we know that he's going to direct our paths. But part of, part of the problem is that we're not trusting because we have to get to know who he is in his essence, his personality, his personhood, and he's love. He is love. And so we need to get to know and make sense of the life that we've had and who he is. And that's something that he's had to do with, you know, me personally as well. All of his children have to know his voice and get to know his voice. He says, my sheep know my voice. So, um, yes, you might have gone through a lot of things in life and you don't trust people. You don't trust, you know, God. You don't think that maybe he um, has been there for you, but that's a lie. He has been there for you. He loves you. And so I am encouraging you today to get to know him so that you can know your identity. Because if you don't know who he is, you won't know who you are. All right. Christian therapy.